Could this 40-year-old Chinese boxer be the next heavyweight champion of the world? Let's talk about it. Chinese power, Chinese speed. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard of this guy or not, but he is making his rounds around the internet going viral. Zi Lei Zhang from Henan, China is a six foot six, 200, 80 pound heavyweight boxer that uh, basically just won another big fight and basically the whole boxing world is talking about him. Yeah, I mean, some people are saying that the other heavyweights that are much more well known than him, have a lot more money than him, are gonna probably like duck him in the future because there's no real upside for them to risk everything to fight this Chinese George Foreman. Right, guys, but we gotta talk about him, introduce him to you in case you don't know. And please, again, I'm not a boxing expert, but if you know more about Dong, let me know in the comments down below so please hit that like button but david his nickname is big bang dang big bong dong big bong dong but you know what else is chinese and has big bang it's my la sauce everybody this is our very own chili oil condiment you can still get your pre-order right now it comes in a pack of two made with truffle made in america goes great on everything but especially I just eat it on bread sometimes. Yeah, I mean, Andrew, why do they call him Big Bang Zhang? Is it because what, he has an explosive left hook? Yeah, or so jab? He's, a, he's a southpaw, meaning that he fights predominantly with his left hand, which is less common, right? There's just less left-handed people than right-handed people. So uh, that kind of usually does give him a slight advantage, but he's just a gigantic dude. He's super accurate with his punches, super powerful, has a great chin, great technique. People say he has a very high Q when he boxes. One of his main weaknesses, though, is obviously his age and stamina. So the reason why he's so old right now and he's finally kind of getting known in the boxing yeah, world. Yeah, he's literally getting known at 40 years old. Yeah, he's getting known, but he's been in the boxing world for a long time. In 2008, he was a silver. He won silver in the Olympics. So he's been boxing for a long time, but he's only been pro since 2014. And I guess he just never really, like, fought anybody I guess you'd say quote and unquote significant until the last maybe five or six years, but he's been knocking people out, bro. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's a brawler, right? Like if you say he, he goes in there and he tries to take your head off, here is a clip of Tyson Fury saying that he's a very dangerous man. This man's trying to take your brains out, six foot six and 20 stone. So he's a very, very different um, customer. It's a very dangerous man. Very dangerous. Um, why do you think that like very, very few people, including Chinese Americans, had heard of him until he won uh, the fight just most recently? These yeah, past so he days? won a rematch with Joe Joyce and he beat him again, right? Um, but I think the reason why is like, I guess if you're not into boxing, you probably wouldn't hear about him because boxing is not... I guess aside from Filipinos, I guess within the Asian world is not that big. I mean, we have a couple young guys, Brandon Lee, who's half Korean, coming out of LA, right? Obviously, Manny Pacquiao, you have. But as far you as like- NUA. NUA, right? But he's from Asia, obviously. Also, Zhang is from Asia, right. so- does it, does it have to do with weight class too? Because NUA is in a in a, in a weight class that where people kind of like discount it. And then almost people, I don't want to say they discount the heavyweights, but it's not where the energy is at, right? Yeah, so I think, and this is what a lot of people said on the internet, the reason why is that the heavyweight world right now is kind of at a stalemate where there's a lot of big name heavyweights that aren't fighting that much. Zhang and Anthony Joshua are fighting often, so they're staying in the game and trying to build, you know, obviously Anthony Joshua is famous, but like- But they're Zang, just trying to get their reps in, right? Yeah, trying to get his reps in, trying to get his wins in, but like people like Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder- um, Andy and Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, they're not fighting that often, and a lot of people suspect that they're trying to avoid fighting Zhang because one- even if they may beat him, it's a risk to fight a smaller name when they could be waiting for a bigger fight. You know? Yeah, I mean, Tyson Fury right now is fighting MMA fighters, right? Yeah. He's fighting Francis Ngannou, right? Yeah, over in October, but they're going to make so much money from that. So, of course, well, that's why Tyson Fury is doing that. It seems like, Andrew, people really are just into the big money MMA boxing crossovers now. Like, yeah. they're not into the boxing boxing anymore. Man, I mean, I think those are the fights that cross over to everybody because, like, I think if you're keeping up with Zong right now, you're probably really into boxing. Like, you care about boxing. Versus, right. that's not, so, he's not somebody that a casual would know. Obviously, I only heard about him, like, literally a month ago. Right, so I'm not saying that I'm like an expert on him either, you know? Yeah, I mean, we gotta get into it, Andrew. Uh, boxing is not big in China. It's not, I heard it's gaining traction, but it's not that big in China. But David, I guess the question is this. You got a, a lightweight or featherweight, I forgot what weight that, uh, a bantam weight that uh, Naoya, Naoya Inoue, the Japanese boxer, the monster, he's in, and he's dominating at his weight. 
And then Zhang is gaining momentum at his weight. So you got a light boxer and a heavyweight boxer from Asia. Does this kind of mean that like... Right, you got somebody fighting at 115 yeah. and you got somebody fighting at 280. Yeah. Well, yeah, heavyweight, right? That's which, crazy. Which there yeah. is no limit. And shout out to Andy Pacquiao, of course, you know, the greatest Asian boxer of all time. But I'm like... Should Asians go more into boxing? And should be bo should boxing be more popular amongst Asians worldwide? What do you think? Um, like, it makes sense because it's a weight class thing, so Asians shouldn't be... You can't say they're outmatched by size because they're fighting other yeah. people their same size. I, it's hard to say. Listen, guys, I'm not a combat sport professional at all. From what I can tell, there's more Asians. I almost want to say in MMA, but from what I can tell... It takes MMA takes a certain more crazed personality where it seems like in boxing you could either be crazed like Mike Tyson or you could be more of a sportsman guy that like treats it like a sport. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's more like you seem sane. Right. Whereas almost all the MMA guys seem like they got a few screws a little loose because so you're, you, you got to be willing to die out there. So are you saying that Asians are not insane enough? Or what, what do we mean? What do you mean like... There, there's more insane Asians, so that's why they want to do MMA. Or MMA because it's more like full-on martial arts. There's kicking. Right. There's, punches, there's like... Yeah, because uh, boxing is very Western. So I guess yeah. what I'm saying is there's something competing there because MMA incorporates more Asian styles of kicking. Yes. But then you need to be willing to die for MMA in a way that maybe boxing you don't need to be. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the gloves are... are really padded and yeah, it's more it's really of a technical window that you're shooting through yeah i guess i mean i don't know what do you guys think in the comments down below because i guess like does it mean anything that we have an asian heavyweight we really haven't had an asian guy this big that was at least even right. gaining traction like this you yeah. know what i mean and, and i think it's a shame let's be honest i don't think chinese culture really embraces these like barbaric things you know like Anything that's hyper-physical, if you guys know, I don't want to get into it too much, China has always shifted every 500 years between Wu and Wen. Wen is more like your flower boy, like almost like eunuch bureaucrat. Pretty you know, boy, like, I pretty guess. Pretty boy, elf boy, you know what I mean? C-pop, K-pop look. Mm -hmm. And then Wu was more like Cao Cao, which is more like, like definitely Zhang Zhilei fits into the Wu masculinity. Yes. Big but Bang Zhang is definitely But we're Wu. like pretty deep in a period of Wen right now. Okay. So I'm saying... If China did like boxing, then there would be enough money to get Zhang Zhilei the fights against Tyson Fury. Right. But because in all in all, the, the country does not support the sport. Right. So if, if, if you're saying if boxing was more popular in China, then there'd be a purse and a bag big enough. The money would be enough to convince someone like Tyson Fury to go fight maybe over there. And right. make the fight worth the money and worth the risk. Right, because nowadays, of course, let's be honest, Andrew, the business of sports right. it has probably even become, I think the sports was always about business, but nowadays people can be more blatant about it. Yeah. I mean, I think he's, uh, I think Zhang has been able to sell himself pretty well considering that he doesn't really speak English. And he, the way he like talks trash and like, you know, Chinese power. Chinese speed, you know, it kind of reminds me of like, you see videos back in the day of like 1940s America, like people were so proud and patriarchal. They were just like, yeah, the American spirit, I'm doing it for America. Yeah. You know how like people don't always say that nowadays, but that's where kind of like Tsong's mindset is. He's back in like, well, isn't he from Hunan? Yeah, he's from Hunan. Yeah, so 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 that, that's like a very 1940s <laughs> type of place that you guys know about like the but stereotypes I'm of the I'm saying like provinces. the pride of China is kind of back in like what America was in like the 50s and 60s right now, right, right, where they're right. just saying Chinese power, yeah. Yeah, like just right after post-industrialization. Yeah. Chinese hands, Chinese fist, you know. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I think it's cool to see and I think that he does have a good personality. I'll say this, overall though, um, it is unfortunate that he's kind of gaining traction when he's so old. Right, but George Foreman did win a world championship in the heavyweight division at 45, so. If he is George, For they do call him the Asian George Foreman. So I guess we'll see. But David, any other takeaways? So do you think this is going to inspire more Asians to go into boxing? Or you think Nawa, yeah, in a way, is more influential, obviously, because he's more, like, relatable physically? Yeah, yeah. Well, Naoya in a way, is really interesting because he mixes some of that, like, J-pop look but with being a beast. Right. And I could see guys even wanting to look like Naoya in a way, but I don't think guys are going to want to look like Zhang Zhilei. Right. But he's I'll tell you this. Your, your, your squad do need a couple Zhang Zhilei's, though. Yo. If he's, because at the end of the day, he could be a bodyguard, too. Yeah, if he's your security detail, you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, ultimately, I just don't think... 
I think it's dope to see for the guys who care, but as far as like me analyzing the Chinese world or even the Chinese American world, most guys won't get it. Right. But but I, I wish that they would. I think it would be, that's a change I'd like to see. All right, well, you guys let me know what you think about Big Bang Dang, a.k.a. Dong Zilei. Um Obviously, you know, I think he's got a couple years, really good years left, so hopefully he gets a big fight. But I could see a lot of big-name fighters ducking him and just kind of... I, I, I think it's unfortunate that there's a chance that happens, but he could have a shot, man. He's a dangerous fighter, and a lot of people are scared of him. So please hit that like button. Let us know what you think in the comments down below uh about boxing amongst asians and until next time we out peace